Welcome to the second semi-final of the Asia League Summer Super 8. It's the NLEX Road Warriors from the Philippines going up against the Guangzhou Long Lions of China. Two equally formidable teams going at it for the right to face the Seoul Samsung Thunders in the finals tomorrow. NLEX reaching the next round with a 2-1 and one record from Group A and Guangzhou also with a two and one record from Group B. They claimed the first seed in that group and now they're on a collision course here inside the Macau East Asian Games Dome in Asia's entertainment entertainment capital, Sadaf Tupas with Jut Sulit on the call for this big game here in Macau. It's gonna be one fun battle, as fun or maybe even more than we had in the first semifinals between ET Land Elephants and Samsung Thunders. That was closely contested and you know, it was in the third quarter that the story flipped in that game and Sean lost control of the battle. Samsung getting the first seed and now they await the winner of this battle. I really feel, Sedelf, that while there are very uh, important and very talented big men in this collision, guard play will be put to the big test. Zooming Shin opening the scoring with a three ball. Came off the bench in the first two games. And first, last two games rather, and now starting for the long lines. A former national team player for China. 
So some of the players here in the Philipp or the NLEX team who has represented the country for sure quite familiar with Zhu Ming Shin as Go Kai, another stalwart playing that four position for the Long Lions, making it a five to nothing lead for the Chinese team. Kinyahan, it's an air ball, Taulava picks it up. Cyrus Baguio left open. Baguio closer, no good. Zhu Ming Shin with the rebound. You can tell that Enlex is being intimidated right now by the size and the height of the Long Lions. Well, that was the same way they started against the Xinjiang Flying Tigers once they got into their groove. Things moved very well for them. Well, this is a, a different animal, the Long Lions, compared to the Flying Tigers. I think this is a more experienced team. And that team that they beat, that NLEX beat in the elimination round. Interesting here, Sedov Sun Min Yang, the guy who just hit that jumper, just joining the Guangzhou Long Lions here in the semifinals. He's a new addition. We haven't seen him in the first three games of the tournament. Well, an extra body, and I think a very solid player for Guangzhou. Sun Min Yang. That's the reason why I was actually surprised when the starting lineup came out. One unfamiliar name. JR Kenyahan, three ball, no good. That worked very well for them in the last game. Kenyahan against the Xinjiang Flying Tigers. A big contributor hit several shots from downtown, but just missing the mark here to open up. Had 18 points in that win against the Xinjiang Flying Tigers. The NLX Road Warriors trying to make it two in a row against China, teams from the Chinese Basketball Association. Shirili Jan Mukhtar, Mukhtar attacks. And another basket here for Sun Min Yang. Sun is just very active underneath the basket. He was, he's been a workhorse. And he may be you know, eager to show what he can do here in the Super 8. He hasn't played a game like you mentioned. Baguio. Seven seconds to shoot. They kick it out to Kenya. Nice fake there by JR. JR buries the jumper for the Road Warriors' first basket. In their first two games of Benlex in this tournament, Kinyahan wasn't really knocking down shots, at least not from the perimeter. Now that he does, I'm sure the long line studied that. They're responding by closing out on him. Sun misses that one. Gokai underneath, and Gokai draws the foul on Kinyahan. Kinyahan giving up. A good two or three inches against Gokai. There were some things that Gokai was telling J.R. Ginyan. And she's not sure. Maybe some, you know, maybe did not appreciate the foul there. Well, go. you can always expect him to crash the boards, whether it be defensive or offensive. He has a magnet on his hands, and it always attracts that basketball. Not to say that he hasn't been putting a lot of effort into getting second chances for his squad. So Gokai makes the first free throw. Second free throw is good. Long Lions on top by nine against this NLEX five of Taulaba, Oiloan, Cyrus Baguio, Jer Kinyan, and Kenneth Ighalo. Uh, Guangzhou with Zhou Mingxin, Yao Tan Kian Ki, Gokai, Sun Min Yang, and Shirley Jan Mokhtar. Baguio to Taulava. Swing it over to Oiloa. Draws closer to Taulava. Three on the way. Good line for Asi. Just couldn't get that one to go. The Road Warriors very hesitant. Even if there are looks they, they would usually put up, they're shying away from them because they know that the length of the Long Lions can get to their shots. Mokhtar, three! <laughs> Mokhtar is a dead shot from outside. Averages 12 points, four rebounds, and four assists. And he struggled. Again, we always mention this. Zero for 13 from outside in their first game. But he found his groove and has been knocking down shots. Ighalo as well in their previous game against the Xinjiang Flying Tigers. Kenneth Ighalo knocked down three three-pointers. Well, Kenneth Ighalo has really developed his outside shot. Didn't really have that when he was in college. 
Gokai kicks it out. Mukhtar, three, back to back. And he's shaking his hand. Yeah, he's saying, I'm hot, I'm feeling fire here. Enlex offense is out of sync at the moment. Trailing by 12 here. Guangzhou off to a really strong start. Imagine the size of the Guangzhou Long Lions. Sun Min Yang exits the game. Wang Yue re enters pretty much the same height. We haven't even seen their tallest guy, Zhen Zhen, enter the game. That really has been their advantage here in this tournament, Sidov. They're the biggest team by far. No well, other squad getting close. Well, because they're big as well, they can initiate you know, the physicality. They can dictate the physicality of, of some games. And, and we saw that in the elimination round against Blackwater, against uh, Fukuoka, and even against the Seoul Samsung Thunders. Chong Son. Chong Son, teardrop off the bank, no good. Zhu Ming Shin. Against Igalo, Zhu Ming Shin. Putting in an exhibition, blocked by Tao Lava. Zhu Ming Shin, you know, he always likes going to that sidestep. I don't think we've ever seen him attack the basket here without using some sort of that move. And as you're reading that well, you just know that as he did his homework studying tape before entering this game. Mokhtar looking for a third straight three. No good. Egalo. Wami Johnson and Mac Talio is the best player in the previous game. Now come in here for Enlex. Talio, Talio, kick out. Johnson closer to the basket. No good once again. Enlex missing some open shots. I like that move from Johnson though. Was very patient. Did not rush his shot. Unfortunately, he missed. Kanti. Right now, Zhu Ming Shin with that awkward release. That's an air ball for Zhu Ming Shin. It was horrible spacing there. That's why him and Gokai are talking. It was almost Gokai defending the shot of Zhu Ming Shin because of the poor spacing. There's a stoppage by our referee. Looks like there's going to be maybe a warning here. Up until that point of the uh, game, uh, that point of that sequence, Ju and Go were talking and just clarifying things, how they wanted to operate. So Mukhtar gets a break. Gu Yuzo has entered the ball game. A little over four minutes remaining here in the first period. Mactalio. Talio. Spins. Talio shoots. Jimmy Shen with the rebound. Yao Tian Ti. Trying to go to Gokai. Position underneath. Gu Yu Zhou. Gokai. Yao Tian Ti. Three on the way. That's over the top. That's very good defense for Enlex there. Uh, there's just a lot of discipline that they showed. Staying with their man and not really trying to be aggressive. Just trying to defend well and they were able to do that. Natalio. Johnson, Taulava, Pinyahan to Egalo. Six seconds to shoot. Egalo, three. Egalo buries it. Candid Egalo has been a revelation for the NX Road Warriors. Not just here, but also in the PBA. But Coach Cheng Yao had been interviewed earlier in the tournament, and he said he's very happy with Igalo and Jansen Rias' performance in the Super 8. Uh, Gokai right now against Kinyahan. Gokai, well defended, but gets the basket anyway. That's the strength of the long lines once they get the ball to Gokai underneath. It's very difficult for Enlex because if they send help, Go has the basketball IQ to spot an open teammate. Mactalio misses that layup completely. Wang. They go to go. Back to Wang against Tolava. Tolava drops to the floor. Pinyan helped defense, but a 
whistle on the play. That's a foul on J.R. Kenyatta. Unfortunately for J.R. Kenyatta, that's going to be the second foul. <laughs> Wang Yue, you see him even surprised that he was open. Took a second before he made that spin and attacked in the basket. Uh, Asi Taolava takes a lot of power to bring down Asi. Wang Yue that time decking the NLEX big man. Fouled by Kinyan. First free throw, no good. Two minutes and 33 seconds remaining. And Lex yet to breach the 10 point barrier. 10 point mark, rather. As a couple of free throws for Wang. Doesn't go in. Talio. Talio leaves behind the defense. Matt Talio. Great play once again from the NLEX point guard. That was what he did against the Xinjiang Flying Tigers. Also earned him. A player of the game nod. It was in that third quarter that Talio erupted and got the lead for his team. But no one there to close out to Zhu Ming Shin. They gotta respect his shot. Well, Zhu Ming Shin, his release may be awkward, but he got gets a lot of arc on that shot. Was on target that time. Jansen Rios. You know, anyone to doubt who has played for the national team of his country, especially China, who has been very competitive in the global stage. He got to respect that player. Chu Ming Shin, he's the leading scorer in this entire tournament. Averaged 20.3 points per game in the elimination round. He has been able to produce points with, in, in his own will. That's right, Chuck. He's been substituted now. Wang loses it. Talio to Chong Son. Chong Son! Bang at the bucket. That was a great attack from Wami Chong Son. But you know, you gotta credit that to Michael Miranda. That was terrific defense that he played against Zheng Zhen. The Enlex Road Warriors teaming up there. You know, from defense to offense, that's how you do it. Teamwork, team effort. Uh, defense to offense in the blink of an eye. Chong Son completes the three-point play. Lead down to nine, a minute and a half remaining here. Miranda. Miranda's jumper, no good. Rios gets the offensive rebound. Eight seconds to shoot. Jansen Rios against Zheng Zhen. Three seconds. Rios still. Rios kicks it out. Chong Son. And I don't think the Road Warriors were aware that time that the shot clock was about to expire. It's poor communication there, but also at the same time, Jansen Rios holding to that ball, holding on to that ball a bit too much. Talio counted upon by the NLEX Road Warriors to step up here as they face Chinese opposition, the Guangzhou Long Lions, a powerhouse team in the Chinese Basketball Association. Mokhtar, step back, Jay. That's good! That's already the fifth three-pointer, the Guangzhou Long Lions here 
first quarter alone has been effective. It has gotten them this lead right now. Chongson, that's an air ball. Well defended by Go. Mukhtar takes it out to Go. Miscommunication there from the two Guangzhou players. And Mukhtar yelling to his teammate to you know, move. Well, there was no one there to receive his pass. And, and as a point guard, you need help as well from your teammate by moving. Eight seconds remaining in the first quarter. Chong Son against Zheng Zhen, kicks it out to Talio. Three seconds, Talio trying to drop it off to Miranda. Another turnover to close out the first period. Wow, they even called an unsportsmanlike foul on Dave Marcel, and I just felt that something you let go. Coach Yang Gao up in arms right now. Wow. We're gonna need to see that once again. That's I understand it. that Dave Marcelo reached in. But, you know, there was a second left on the shot clock. Barely any advantage given. They were even on the far end of the court, near the end line. Chan Yu Hang. That's justice for Enlex. If uh, they feel they're in the, the aggrieved party right there. As uh, Tian misses the first one. Second one is good, and that's a 12-point lead for Guangzhou Long Lions at the end of the first year. Back here at the Macau East Asian Games Dome. Good look at Shirlujan Mokhtar. Nine points on three of four three point shooting for the Guangzhou Long Lions guard, who are now leading by 13 as we are about to begin the second period here. It's the Asia League Summer Super 8 semifinals between the NLEX Road Warriors. And the Guangzhou Long Lions, Mac Taliot, Jansen Rios, Dave Marcelo, Mike Miranda, and Wami Chongson for the Philippine team. Miranda with a teardrop. Gets that one to go. Long Lions starting with Zheng Zhen, Mokhtar, Chan Yu Heng, Go Yu Zhou, and Min Sun Min Yang. You know, Miranda has played only three minutes in this ball game at this point, but he's provided quality action here. The disruption with that pass. Young's unable to tap it out. Sending that ball to you. Oh, thank you very much, but uh, <laughs> I can't shoot from here. 11 point lead here for Guangzhou. Sidav Tupas with Judd Sulit delivering you this game. A knockout game. Sun. Sun Bin Yang has been a problem here for Enlex. His size and uh, heft, height and heft inside the paint. Once again, Dave Marcello. 
just look for the foul. Dave Marcelo. Oh, he disagrees with the call. So Nanyang at the free throw line, you know, he's got not just height. With Jung with Jung Jun, he has the height, but the heft and the ability really has uh, needs some work. But with Sung Min Yang, he's a bit uh, more polished. He saw a couple of spins to the baseline and just has that ability with that drop step. Chong Son, Miranda, Jansen Rios. Jansen Rios drops it off to Marcelo, teardrop. Miranda crashing the boards and gets himself two points. Michael Miranda before in the Philippine Basketball Association, Association was not really seeing some minutes, but when he landed with Enlex under Coach Yang Yao, his career saw a surge. But how about that? Shen Chen with a three-pointer. Make that a 13-point lead for Guangzhou. Marcelo trying to answer right back. Three ball is short. Miranda with the offensive rebound. We go back to Chong Son. Seven seconds to work with for Enlex. Chong Son. Jumper. Couldn't get that one to go. Another rebound there for Go. Really the size right now of Guangzhou dictating the pace of this game. No one from Enlex able to attack and get to the basket. Well, that's been extremely difficult here for Enlex. Oktar to Zheng Zhen. Oktar and Zheng Zhen connecting that time to extend Guangzhou's lead. The long lines know what their advantage is right now. That side, they're going to go down low to either Sun or Zheng time and time again. Talio, three on the way. And Talio continues his remarkable form here in the Summer Super 8. So Minyang, Zheng Zheng. Wow. Nice, another three. His confidence after hitting that first one is off the roof. And now that's a whole different weapon that Enlix needs to worry about. Oh wow, with Sun Min Yang operating underneath and Zheng Zhen also making his shots from beyond the arc. Not much you can do it for the Road Warriors right here. As Miranda has been whistled for an unsportsmanlike foul. It was him in Lu Yezhua. Got tangled up, Coach Yang Yao. Sharing a piece of his mind. Miranda, it's unfortunate because he was playing very well. Now, will be relegated to the bench after committing that unsportsmanlike foul. I think it was on Moktar, really. That's right. Moktar in double digits now, 10 points. You, you know, we talked about the 0 for 13 game. Now everyone seems to have forgotten that oh, the, way he's been, the way he's been shooting in the past two, three games. It seems as if that's decades ago, Sidel, because over the past few games, couple of games to be exact, Sherilyn John Maktar has definitely shown that he, there's a reason why he took that many shots. And because that's because the Guangzhou long lines needed him to get in rhythm. Zhang Zhen, unsuccessful. That's a heat check. Marcelo, they go back to Buenafe. Buenafe attacks against Zheng Zhen. They draw the foul. Ronche Buenafe has been a professional for so many years already. And what he pulled out there was a veteran move, drawing a foul on the younger big man of the Guangzhou Long Lions. So Buenafe goes to the line for two free throws. And this is the biggest. You know, the, this is the biggest lead that Enlex has faced in this uh, tournament with Guangzhou ahead by 17 earlier, now down to 16. They also battled back uh, by, against uh, Xinjiang by 17 down in that ballgame. So a split from uh, Buenafé, Mokhtar. 
Gokai has uh, returned to the ball game. Sun Min Yang now against Soyut. Raul Soyut. Sun Min Yang bagging body. Sun Min Yang turn around. Jay is good. Great patience he showed there. Tried to move the defense a couple of times. Unsuccessful. He was the one who moved away. Got that bucket. Mactali attack minded as ever. Gets the foul from Song Shu Wai. What we're seeing here from Mactali. Take a look at this first. The turnaround for Su Min Yang. And now you are seeing that the bigs of the Guangzhou Long Lions really have shots, whether it be in the perimeter or beyond the three point line. You're now worried as the Ellis Warriors because there's so much that you need to stop, so many things you need to worry about on, on defense. Now, if you take a look at the, the field goal shooting at the moment, Long Lions 13 of 20. That's just incredible. 8 of 22 for NLEX. Natalio missing two free throws as well. So, more problems here for NLEX. They, they could trail. You know, Guangzhou could add to this 18 point lead. Zuming Shen, Shuai. Puts it out to Wang. Shuai back to Zuming Shen. Zuming Shen, three ball. Dave Marcello with the rebound. Buenape. Again, the length of the long lions. So Shuai barely jumping there, still able to deflect that pass. Buenape. Trying to break down the defense. Marcelo is there. Gokai losing his balance there. I felt like when the should have just put that shot up. He was right at the basket already. Again, the intimidation factor of that Guangzhou size. Buenafe, three ball. Oh, there you go. He had other plans. <laughs> you just have to trust Ronjay with that. Provides three points instead of two. Now, Ronjay Buenafe made a living making outside shots. In the Philippine Basketball Association, the, the veteran delivering that time. Gokai losing the handle against Soyuz. That's three consecutive great defensive possessions for Raul Soyuz. It's a tough task guarding Gokai, but he's been successful so far. Talio, Kezuming Shen, Talio. It's been crowded there inside. Cyrus Baggio. Three seconds to shoot for Enlex. Buenape needs to put this up. Talio almost got the offensive rebound there. Guangzhou right now. Midway into this uh, second period as Ronje uh, Buenape gives that, that foul. Natalio earlier in this tournament had a lot of success driving against the other Chinese team, but now a much taller and longer Zhu Shen guarding him. That's giving him problems. Or we can play uh, horn. But the next open, we start here. Yes. Play two. Pass the ball. Come here. I want the ball here. Play. Everybody move. Next open, we play one down. One down. JR Kenyahan, Mike Miranda whistled for a sportsman like foul earlier. Four minutes and 57 seconds remaining here in the first half of the second semi-final of the Asia League Summer Super 8. It's the NX Road Warriors of the Philippines and the Guangzhou Long Lions of China, Sadaf Tupas and uh, Justin Sudet bringing you the action from the Macau East Asian Games Dome. Long Lions now with possession. Gokai with six seconds to work with. Gives it up to Goye Zhou. Couldn't make the three-pointer. Enlex comes back. Cyrus Baggio gets away. 
Sawyer, the defensive rebound, couldn't stick that one back in. You know, again, Sadov, the keyword intimidation. On the other side, the Chinese, even so confident, just putting shots up because most of the time, it's only your teammate getting the rebound again because of their size. Song Shuai go to the line for two free throws. He misses the first one. The Song Shuai recently played for the Chong Son Kung Fu in the ASEAN Basketball League, and that's also where he got a lot of confidence. The start of the season did not really, barely really playing. But then towards the end of it, when of course the long season have come to bring in fatigue for their imports, well that's when he became a big part of their rotation as well. So now with the Long Lions making his presence felt, Talio puts the, his head down, Mark Talio. The foul and the basket. Talia, you know, I think it's a it's a big option for Enlex. He just gave him the ball and let him go to work. He has been dancing with the defense of the Long Lions, going past him and even go Kai with the help D. Too late, Mark Talio, too quick. But he misses. The bonus free throw, but he gets the ball back. Talio drops it off to Soyud. That's four points for Enlex in that possession. Mark Talio making things happen for his squad. Zooming Shen against Igalo, trap against Soyud. Kinyahan with the steal. Talio now in the open court. Enlex. Great defense there. By long, the Long Lions getting back in transition. Talio now against Wang. Talio with the left hand. Going up against the Giant in Wang. You're okay with that. You know, with Talio throwing a lot of the defense. That's still something I'd go to if I were in legs. Kinyahan against Wang. Picks it out to Juming Shen. Juming Shen attacks. That's a traveling violation. <laughs> and now. The defense of Enlex tightening up, and it's really what has been the source of this mini run. And it's still a 12-point lead, but if they continue to play this kind of defense, it won't be soon, it won't be long before they get back into this game. Natalio has orchestrated this offense brilliantly for Enlex for the duration of this tournament. Kenyahan, open. Kenyahan kicks it out to Talio once again. Talio back to Kenyahan. Igalo from the corner, that's a three, no good. Rebound, Cyrus Baggio. Gokai is down. And a referee says there's a sportsman like foul on Raul Soyut. Soyo claiming his innocence right now. Yeah, we'll take a look at that here. You can, you know, from that angle at least, you know. From that angle, it looked like a box out. But I'm not sure. You know, after the whistle, the initial one looked like a box out. But it seems as though when the ball was already up, Far away from them, so you may have planted another one, uh, that elbow. Well, you know, the referees, they were the ones closest to the action. And they're but, all but, over the know, situation. There was no swing of the elbow. To put that there was no swing of the elbow. He had to put his elbow down, it so happened Gokai was there. Hit him in the back of his head. Well, nonetheless, then the call stands. Ra rather. And Enlex will just have to make ground for the two free throws that Cheng Chen knocked down here. So Cheng Chen 
with eight points in the ball game, two big threes earlier. Coach Heng Yao still talking to our game commissioner. Zheng Zhen. To Zhu. Zhu, three on the way. It's a wild shot. Wang. That's an even wilder shot with it going over the backboard. But right now, you know, although the unsportsmanlike foul happened, you see some life in the England uh, Road Warriors. Yeah, actually, you know, that was threatening to them because it could have taken away the momentum that's already going their side. But even with uh, the unsportsmanlike foul, even with the two free throws, Chen Chen knocked down, somehow this is still going well for Enlex. However, a lot of physicality in Zhu Ming Shin. Reporting to the referee saying Soyun still has extra motion after the whistle. So it's a look start coming in for Zhu Ming Shin. Zhu Ming Shin gets a breather. Mukta returns. Binyahan and, and Soyun giving up a lot of inches to Zheng Zhen and uh, Wang Wei. Zheng Zhen. We'll go to Mokhtar. Mokhtar, the kick out. In the corner, that's no good for Yao Tian Ti. Long line, still starting to miss. Cyrus Baguio attacks. Guangzhou not yet in the penalty. Heng Yi Feng is whistled for the personal. One more foul, putting the Lions over the limit. No way, if you watch the last sequences in this game. It seems as though Enlex has been dictating the pace, but all oh, Lions unfazed here, still holding on to a big advantage. Take away some of it with that cutback. Almost a LeBron James like move, bouncing it off of the board. I don't think it was, I think he wanted that first lane to fall down though. Just so happened he was there to mop up his own mess. Well, you know, that's Cyrus Baguio for your creativity under pressure. Baguio couldn't complete the three point play. So many times, Kenlix has missed three throws in this game, really hurting them. Mokhtar wanting to expose the defense. Zheng Zhen, three ball. Igalo with the rebound. They go to Cyrus Baguio. The veteran is double team. Mokhtar whistled for a foul. Baggio will troop to the line for a couple of freebies. One thing going to side of Enlex here is they have a healthy crowd supporting them. They have started to come alive as Enlex now trying to make a move to completely get back in this game. First one is good for Cyrus Baggio. 42 to 31, Guangzhou. Make that a 10-point lead for Guangzhou. The Road Warriors closing in. A minute and a half remaining in the second period. Mokhtar, Mokhtar, three on the way. Wang Yue beats Kenya to the rebound. Zheng Zhen, back to Mokhtar. That was a good look for the long line. Mokhtar, Mokhtar, Yao, Wang Yue, one dribble. Wang Yu Wei beats the Whoa. shot clock. He flexes his muscle there. Wang Yu Wei, he's been bagging bodies with Kinyan, with Soyun underneath that time saying, I also have range and let me show you what I got. 15 seconds to work with. Talio. Defender goes under, takes the three. Couldn't get that one to go. 40 seconds remaining here. Guangzhou with possession. Road Warriors can still get the ball back as Soyun whistle for the foul on Zheng Zhen. Zheng Zhen will find himself at the charity stripe once again. He's got 10 points, only seven and a half minutes of play. And 
you know, most of his shots have come from outside. Remember, eight of his points, they came from two three-pointers and two free throws earlier. Now another one from the line. Cheng Jin has been very impressive in this game. So inside and outside threat for Guangzhou. Extends the lead to 14. 11 second differential, game clock and shot clock. Side is Baggio. To Kenyan. Kenyan. That's good. JR Kenyan from the perimeter. You can never sleep on JR Kenyan. He gets an open look, maybe around the 80 to 20 feet range. He's going to knock that down. Bokhtar against Talio. Bokhtar. Go to Yao. Back to Wang Wei. Wang is down on the floor. There's a whistle. Not sure if they got it off in time. Oh, that's Wang. Got hit on the eye there. There was no whistle though. And McCarter currently talking to Hengi Feng, who's complaining about a lot of things from his teammates. Also, Wang Zhou talking to the referees in order of getting a clarification on the calls and non-calls. This game has been really physical. And it's the Guangzhou Long Lines up by 12 at the half.
designated as the UNESCO Creative City of Gastronomy. Experience with that. Gourmet style. Halftime highlights uh, this encounter between Chinese Basketball Association powerhouse Guangzhou Long Lions and the NX Road Warriors of the Philippine Basketball Association. So far, it's the Long Lions with a 12 point lead, and uh, Sadaf Tupas and Justin Sulin bringing you the action. And so far, what has stood out for you here in uh, the first two quarters? Well, first of all, Cheng Chen hitting two three-pointers. I think that was very surprising in the first three games of this tournament for the Long Lions. They did not bring those that skill out. And now when you thought that the advantage of the Long Lions was their size underneath, you know, he allowed the new guy, Sun Min Yang, to operate underneath and Zheng Jin complements him with that outside shot. But for Enlex, it's been their physicality. That's what they're trying to bring here. And somehow, it's also what's gotten them back in the game from being down by 18. Now, they're just staring at a 12-point deficit. But at the same time, you know, they've been called for a couple of unsportsmanlike fouls. They just have to be careful not to cross the line. Well, Enlex Road Warriors, second seed, uh, Group A, Group B, number one. Guangzhou Long Lions setting the stage for this meeting as a uh, Gokai is rejected by Asi Taulaba. Second block for the big man of the Road Warriors. Mokhtar, three ball, that's short. Mokhtar trying to track down his own miss. He is joined here by uh, Sun Min Yang, Gokai, 
Zhu Ming Shen. And Yao Tan Kian Ti at the start of the third. And Lex with Jonathan Oiloan, Cyrus Baggio, Jer Kinyahan, Kenneth Igalo, and Asi Taolava. Taolava, three. That's good! You know, Wang Zhou needs to be careful here. Yesterday, the NLEX Road Warriors pulled out a 31 to 10 third quarter, and that's what completely flipped the script in that game. They were also down by 17 in the first half of that battle against Xinjiang. Well, that was uh, the best quarter of NLEX in the tournament so far as Mukhtar fires the three. I'm just not sure, Sedelf. I'm sorry if that's the way that change of uh, that. Guangzhou will regain control in this ballgame by taking contested threes. Cyrus Baggio. Two-man game with Kinyan. Baggio. No good. Yao Tianti. To Zhu Ming Shin. Against Baggio. Zhu Ming Shin. Another travel on Zhu Ming Shin. Another turnover. It's been... With the way that Zhu Ming Shin moves, there's always a risk of traveling. If the defender can get that bump, that clean bump in, that will always uh, send him, well, off balance because of that half step that he likes pulling out. Well, you know, he's been scouted in this tournament. Egalo, corner J, no good. So Min Yang with the defensive stop, Mukhtar. Go to Zhu Ming Shin, Zhu. Nice pass to go, high block by two NLEX players, Oiloan, Kinyan first, and then Oiloan. Great interior defense for NLEX. What's happening is that they're, they're helping each other. That's why things are becoming easier as individuals. Zooming Shin, eight seconds remain in the shot clock. Go Kai, go Kai. Well, you can stop him a couple of times, but go Kai, he'll get his buckets, he'll find ways to do that. Eight points now for the Guangzhou power forward. Three ball, Oloan. Couldn't get that one to go, Yao Tianti. Leaves it to Mukhtar. Oloan trying to stop the drive. Mukhtar will go to the line. Shadow Jan Mukhtar is a very smart player. Yes, he'll take questionable attempts several times in a game, but that time you see it. Uiloan recognized that there was a movement from Tar, but the moment that Tar saw the guard of Enlex was closing out on him, he blew by him, thus forcing Jonathan to pick up a foul. But Tar misses the first free throw. Guangzhou ahead by 11. Second free throw, no good. Not very often you'd see Shadali Chan miss two free throws. Taolava almost lost the handle. Taolava to Oiloan. Intimidated by Go Kai, couldn't finish. Mokhtar to Yao. Mokhtar back to Yao Tianti. They go to Sun. Down low against Kinyan. The kick out, Zooming Shin. Zooming Shin attacks. That's an air ball on Zooming Shin. And Lex, you know, the, the thing they want to see right now is a frustrated Zhu Ming Shin. Because when Zhu is frustrated, he tries, there's a tendency for him to try a tad bit too much for his squad. That time you see him losing the ball. Baguio. Inyahan. Ighalo now. Trying to initiate the action. Taolaba. Wide open. Baguio underneath. Great pass there from the big man. That's excellent offense, you know. It looked messy for a bit. It looked like even Enlex was confused. But no, they knew what they were doing. Taulaba spotting wide open Baggio. Mokhtar. Enlex with some momentum now. Gokai down low to Zooming Shin. Zooming Shin couldn't get a shot off. Great defense once again by the Rogue Warriors. Well, there was an open Gokai to kick out to when Zooming Shin was open. Oh, and uh, it was clobbered there. But again, Taulava spotting Baggio was all alone underneath. Very disciplined in their execution that time. And Lex, Sun in and out. Great box out there by Uloan. Cyrus Baggio. 
Gives the switch. Paulava, three on the way. No good. And Kahlo gets the offensive rebound. They get another try here. Baguio gets it to the gut of the defense. Takes it out. Oiloan, four seconds to shoot. Oiloan still. Paulava needs to take this one. Asi buries it. Filipino Gallery on their feet inside the Macau East Asian Games though as the Road Warriors cut this lead to six after this long three-point bomb from Asi Taulava. They are making fouls, the referee for goals, and we have just talked We have to play basketball. Don't look too easy. We have to play basketball. 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 We have to play 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 for the second straight game, the NLEX Road Warriors were trailing at the break. And now, for the second straight game, they've used another third quarter run to get back into the contest. Absolutely, still we already talked about their performance yesterday. A 31 to 10 third quarter against Xinjiang. And now, they open this period up with an 8-2 run. You know what has happened to the Guangzhou Long Lions is their spacing has gone down here. They're always congested, thus making it easier for the NLEX players to help and recover to their men. Well, they haven't been making outside shots. Kokhtar looking for a way through against Egalo. Takes it out to Wang Wei. Wang, another defensive stop for NLEX. Egalo. Cyrus Baggio, Baggio attacks, Baggio scores! That was Cyrus Baggio 10 years ago. And I know his game has slowed down a bit, maybe does not get as high as he did before, but that was classic right there. Now turning back the clock, Cyrus Baggio. And Enlex turning on the steam here. To Taulava, Igalo, thought about the three. And if Igalo, back to Taulava. Eight seconds to work with for NLEX. Cyrus Baggio, that's a foul on Yao Tianti. Suddenly the pressure is on Wang Zhou. I really think they should deliberately try and operate through Gokai in the post and give him space to operate. Wang Zhou needs to spread the floor on Omen Sadov to get open looks. Well, their bread and butter for quite some time has been Gokai operating at the post. Talio now, hard dribble. Talio, hard drive! Two points for Enlex. Mark Talio has been unstoppable in this tournament with that penetration. Two point lead now for Wang Zhou. Zhaoming Shen, and that's off the shot clock. 12 to 2 run to open up the third period. And Lex, they like third quarters. That I can tell you. Doing it with Cyrus Baggio, Asi Taulava, J.R. Kinyan, the veterans making their presence felt. Taulava can give Enlex the lead as, an, as uh, Kenneth Igalo tried to save the basketball. Looking at Coach Sheng Yao, you know, he's not rejoicing through this run. He's not gonna smile until the final buzzer sounds and they are ahead. Chance of defense here as Enlex defense this Guangzhou possession. Three ball on the way. Gokai with the offensive rebound. Jimmy Shen. They tap to Mactalio. Mactalio. 
Cyrus Baguio. To Taolaba, quick hands by Gokai. You're right about what you said earlier. The outside shot not falling for Guangzhou. And it has brought some concern to their camp. They've changed the way they're attacking on offense because shots are not falling. So now they're 0 for 4 from downtown here in the third quarter. Cyrus Baguio and Asi Taolava getting an applause from the Filipino crowd as they return to the bench. Mike Miranda and Jansen Rios now in the ball game. Jair Kenyahan. Six seconds to work with. Talio. Talio. Trap. Able to kick it out. Egghalo. Three. That's too strong. Wang misses. Go Kai with the rebound. Three ball from Go. Guangzhou now one for 13 from the field here in the third period. Miranda, Jansen Rios from the corner, three ball in and out. And like, they cannot get over eager here. They got to calm down. That, this is what they wanted, to get back in the game. Now they cannot force things. Guangzhou, of course, wanting to try and up that cushion again. Zooming so. That's Miranda, great defense, but zooming should. Scorer that he is somehow finds a way stopping the bleeding for Guangzhou. Michael Miranda went for the swipe that time. It was risky. Oh, check that. It was actually Talio who went for the swipe. And I thought that if Talio just, you know, helped out, had his, his hands up, and maybe it could have been prevented that. But Chu Ming Shin is just go so good with that move. Earlier, he was stopped several times on his way to the basket, forced to a miss, forced to a travel. But that's his move. He's going to go back to that. Chu Ming Shin. A bit frustrated. But Enlex has come back in this ball game. Down by five. Under three minutes remaining here. Jackson Rios. It's it out to Talio. Talio. Miranda. One dribble pull up. Air ball for Michael Miranda. Shirley Jan Mokhtar. Now in the ball game. Mokhtar. Gets Talio. Good. Short. Again, they continue to miss from outside. Buenafe wide open, three on the way, no good. Dave Marcelo. That was a good tap from Ken. Yep. Couldn't get the rebound that time. Mokhtar now. Two minutes. Sherlijan Mokhtar. Looking for Gu. Wang with the pick. Mokhtar. Three seconds to shoot. They go down low to Gokai. Fade away from Go. In and out. Rios with a rebound to Talio. Talio. Talio challenging the defense and scoring. Ah, Talio absorbing contact. Just flips it up and got it to go. He again is right at the core of this attack of the NX Road Warriors. Talio will be whistled for that foul. Uh, went through that pick of Wang. Look at that move from Talio. Mokhtar, 10 seconds to work with for Guangzhou. Mokhtar, three ball on the way. It's good. Now that might change things for Enlix on the defensive end. They've been clogging down the paint and that's how you loosen things up if you're the Guangzhou Long Lions. Knock down outside shots. Miranda to the cutting. Marcelo left hand. It's good, it's good. Undersized as a big, but has the skills. Multi time champion when he was playing in college in the Philippines. Mokhtar against Talio. Goal with the pick. Mokhtar kicks it out. Gets it back, Mokhtar, three on the way, no good. 
Gould, blocked by Johnson Rios. Good defense there from Rios. I actually like the move from Gu. He used his body to create some space, but the long arms of Rios still got to that basketball. 11 seconds left on the shot clock for the Long Lions. And Lex will get the ball back. And we have a chance to get the last shot of the quarter. Jing Shen, Moktar. Moktar attacks. Drops it off to Wang. Wang underneath. Couldn't get that one to go. Miranda now. Talio. Enlex has a chance here to close in. Down 18 earlier. Only trailing by four right now. Buena Fe. Buena Fe. To Marcelo. To Miranda. Underneath. It was. Surprising for Mike Miranda to see himself wide open underneath the basket. Sorry, miss for him. Would have cut the deficit down to two, but Enlex, they'll settle for this. Down by 18 in the first half. They climb back to trim the deficit down to four, heading into the fourth quarter. the hype so far, Enlex Road Warriors led by this man, Mark Talio, and the veteran Asi Taulava, a pull to within four points against the Guangzhou Long Lions in the second semifinal of the Asia League Summer Super 8 here at the Macau East Asian Games Dome. Sedov Tupas with Justin Sulit bringing you the action. Final 10 minutes for the right to face the Seoul Samsung Thunders in the finals tomorrow. Enlex and Guangzhou. It's a miss from Ronje Buenafe as uh, Guangzhou going for the zone that time. Jing Zhen losing the handle. He recovers. Mokhtar gets it back. Mokhtar to Zheng Zhen. Well defended by Miranda. And short. Somehow, Jan Yu Heng hanging in the air and getting the two points. Well, just the composure of the Long Lions there did not panic, even though it seemed that their offense is going nowhere. That's in Rios. Buena fe. Closes in, Buenafe missing. There's a foul. It looks like it is going to be on Mokhtar. It's fortunate for Guangzhou because Zheng Zhen was already about to get the rebound. Mokhtar did not have to push Marcelo, but also unfortunate for Enlex and Buenafe. That's a shot he likes. That's, he's open along the baseline. Haven't found success in that. Mactalio getting a breather. Wami Chongson. I don't think Mactalio will stay on that bench for long. Miranda. Jansen Rios. Eight seconds to work with. For Enlex. Chongson. Rios has to put it up. Rios. Defensive rebound by Dave Marcelo. 
Rios cuts. Rios challenges the defense of Zheng Zhen. I don't care what's your, what your height is, says Chasen Rios. I'll score over you. Yan Yu Heng to Mokhtar. Mokhtar. Rafa Miranda was there. And Coach Yang Yao not happy there with the way Miranda defended that drive from Mokhtar. Let's see what happened here. Miranda had his hands up. He's burning a lot of that defensive and to try. Unfortunately, Miranda will pick up his third personal foul. So Miranda returns to the bench. Vinyahan has uh, re-entered the floor. You know, obviously, Sadov, what Guangzhou wants here is to be able to pull away again, build the enough cushion, enough separation that they don't need to feel under pressure. And the guy I feel responsible to lead them to that position is Sharajan Mokhtar. That time he gets two free throws. Rios. Buena fe. Buena fe. Teardrop. In and out for Ronje Buena fe. They've come up empty here in three of their first four possessions. And Lex, Can you hang? Buena fe caught reaching in. And now Italo will be replacing Ronje Buena fe. And the cue for Coach Yang to replace Winnipeg was the, the missed floater because those were two good looks that he had along the baseline, one on each end. But Ronji failing to capitalize on that, on those actually. Well, oh, there's just little room for error here for Enlex. Guangzhou can punish you if uh, you make mistakes and miss open shots. So Zheng Zhen, turn around, Jay, no good. Mikhailo collects the rebound. That's something that Zheng Zhen will need to work on. When you have five inches over your man, it should be easy for you to score on top of him. Chong Son gets it to the middle and gets the two points. Wami Chong Son, really smart play there, attacking the zone. The feet of Zheng Zhen stuck to the ground that time and not allowing him to close out on Chong Son. And now it's Wami Tiongson forcing the turnover by drawing an offensive foul on Tian Yu Heng. On Tian Yu Heng, this young point guard. Committing the mistake there. Yao Tian Ti has returned. Wang Zhou still playing the zone here. Chong Son, back to Jansen Rios. Rios has a blocking foul on Wang Yuei. What we've seen from the Chinese teams here is that they've been having difficulty. Ho Chin Chang and Wang Zhou, think about it, when uh, they played the LX World Warriors, the most difficulty they've had was defending the penetrators of the Road Warriors. Especially for Xinjiang, Mak Talio. Go down low to Soyut. Lost the handle against Zheng Zhen. Coach, Coach Yang <laughs> really felt like that was a wasted opportunity. I think it's my first time seeing that kind of a reaction in the face of Coach Yang. Well, Coach Juan Antonio Orenga shuffling his men right now. Go Kai and Jamming Shen as uh, both return to the ball game. Chong Son. Yao Tian Ti, it is crossed the line. Zheng Zhen, we go to Mokhtar. Offensive foul, Zheng Zhen. Well, that, you know, he did not mean to do it, but just his long legs there. Rios getting caught up, and that's an easy call for the referee to make. I'm not sure why Huang Zhou is complaining. It was an offensive foul with his knee. Getting in the way of Rios. Unfortunately, that's gonna hamper Jansen Rios. He 
because you know that Charlie horse when the knee hits the thigh muscle, it really limits your movement. Yahan, back to Talio. Talio, oh, nice move there, Mark Talio just couldn't finish. Jing Jin pulls up. Jing Jin buries the three. That has been key. The three point shooting of the seven footer, Jing Jin. Three already for him in this game. Jong Son taking over. Wami Jong Son cuts the lead to five with that jumper. That's the opening that Guangzhou is giving end legs. Near the free throw line, there's always an opportunity for the Road Warriors. Wang Shen. Go to Zheng Zhen against Raul Soyut. Fade away. Couldn't get that one to go. Go Kai with the offensive rebound. Mokhtar. Oh, yes, that's huge. Sherry Legend Mokhtar has been a thorn on the side of the Road Warriors. The Guangzhou doing the right thing here. You know, keep attacking. Don't play like you're the you're the team that's being suppressed. Because right now, Enlex is the one knocking on their door. And while they haven't been scoring a lot, what the Long Lions have been successful at too is limiting the production of the Road Warriors here in the fourth. Mokhtar really playing well is uh, with Guangzhou's tournament on the line. Has delivered 18 points so far for the guard of the Guangzhou Long Lions. Talio. Talio puts his head down. To Kinyan, baseline, J is good. J.R. Kinyan, Enlex. Still knocking on the door, staying afloat in this ball game. Talio made everything happen on that possession for Enlex. Dictated where his teammates would go and spotting Kinyan. Sun Minya kicks it out. Zooming Shin against Talio. They go to Gokai. Foul on J.R. Kinyahan. Enlex. One more foul will send Guangzhou to the free throw line the rest of the way. Only the fourth team foul. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Road Warriors. Down six. Guangzhou looking to add to this advantage. Mukhtar dribbles it off his foot. It's a turnover. That can cost Guangzhou. But this is the bubble that Enlex hasn't really been able to pop. The four point or six, four to six point force shield preventing them from you know, getting the advantage or even tying the game. Mactalio probing. Mactalio finding Taulava. Swings it over to Chong Son. One dribble, pulls up, in and out. Ruami Chong Son. Couple of times already that Enlex was able to erase the defense with a pump fake. But the shot's not falling for them. Mokhtar. Gokai. Sun Yang against Taulava. The fadeaway, he draws the foul there. Looks like it's going to be on Kinyan. Kinyan made an attempt for the ball as he held on a Sun Minyang. I think that's where he was built for that personal. Sun Minyang. First appearance in the tournament. Seven points, five rebounds so far. Make that eight. What a timely addition it is for this uh, Guangzhou Long Line squad of coach uh, Juan Antonio Renga. Yeah, and the fact that he started this game will tell you that he's an important piece of this squad. And Guangzhou was already the biggest team before his entry. And now you got another 6'9", like, 6'10", six, six, guy with also with a good size in terms of heft. 
Now Chanti after the miss. Yao attacks, doesn't get that one to go. Igalo. And Lex trailing by eight. Olava. Baguio. Lost the hand to go, Kai. Stepped on the line. Lucky break for the Road Warriors there. Olava and Baguio not connecting on that pass. And you'll see the size 18, maybe 28 <laughs> feet of Gokai stepping on the sidelines. Those are huge. Palio, Pinyahan, Igalo, baseline trap, steal by Mokhtar. Great de defense there by Guangzhou. Gokai. The help team making that possible. Foul was before. He made that attack to the basket. Now, if the foul was on Taulava, then the basket would have counted. But it was Cyrus Baggio who was slapped with that personal foul. Gokai will only take two free throws, no basket. Gokai. Eight points and seven rebounds for him. Only six attempts. Not uh, his usual production in this tournament. Absolutely, he's averaging a double-double, 11.7 points and 12.3 rebounds. But in that third quarter, it was highlighted how Enlex was able to deny and limit the production of Go and the other bigs of the Long Lions. But they were able to gain some ground again here in the fourth. Long Lions leading by 10. Talio gets away, kicks it out. Kinyan. Back to Talia, wide open three, on the way, too strong. Egalo with the offensive rebound, Kinyahan in rhythm, short. Egalo again. Enlex getting a third crack here. Shots not falling for Enlex when it matters most. Paulava couldn't get the three to go. Ball will stay with the Road Warriors. Three minutes and two seconds remaining. They're trailing by 10. That's a foul. Guangzhou already in the penalty as well. Foul on Yao Tian Ti. Two free throws for Talio. We still can't call this win for Guangzhou. 10 point lead. Three minutes to go. Talio at the line. Enlex has been having problems from that spot all night long. They're shooting four of four for ten. And imagine if they just converted even just four more of those to Delve, then it would have completely changed how this fourth quarter is holding. Lead is down to nine for Guangzhou, but they have possession. The Long Lions. Yao Tian Ti. Zhuming Shen. Zhuming Shen rises and buries. Short jumper. The leading scorer of the tournament. Whatever happens, he will try to get his buckets. Four for 12 from the field. Talio couldn't get that one to go. Claiming he was fouled. No whistle though. And this zone defense has really slowed down Enlex in the fourth quarter. That's right, because you know, even if they're playing zone, again, length, the length of the long lines, they're still covering enough ground to give problems to the Road Warriors. And also, there were times that Enlex were able to maneuver out of the pressure of the zone, but they're not knocking down shots. That has allowed Guangzhou to get this 11-point cushion. Two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Guangzhou can add to this lead. Zhuming Shen, though, it's a bad miss at the free throw line. Short. The Seoul Samsung Thunder is already waiting in the finals of the Asia League Summer Super 8. They play the winner of this game. Guangzhou wanting to complete the task. They're up by 12 at this point. Oh, you gotta remember, Samsung beat Guangzhou in the elimination round. Kinyan misses the jumper. Talio looking for Baggio. It's a turnover. Talio seems tired at this point. You know, usually he would 
break down his defender and attack the basket. That time looking for other options already. And it was a bad decision to go cross court to Baguio. So lead balloons to 14. Talio gets go. Talio kicks it out to Baguio. Back to Talio. Five to shoot. Talio finding space that time. Map Talio. He pulled out a lot of moves, but could not really get rid of Goka. He just so happened to float that shot over Go. Found the bottom of the net. 12 point lead for the Long Lions. Mokhtar in no rush. Mokhtar against Igalo. Fade away. That's good. That was such an impressive move. Went up with one foot. And also fading away, still got it to go. Without Yanti, it looks like he fell to the to the deck there. He was warned for faking a foul. The Road Warriors just running out of steam here in the fourth quarter. We're down by four at the end of three periods. Held to 11 points here as Guangzhou scored 21 in the quarter so far. Baguio couldn't get the three to go. Had to give up the foul on the rebound. Sun Min Yang will go to the line. And Sun complaining that he was elbowed by Baguio. Well, he had size advantage over a player of hand legs and with a smaller bag of chop. It was inevitable that they collided. Nonetheless, Sun Men Yang, a huge part of this win, budding win, with the Guangzhou Long Lions. His addition to the squad, you know, gave Cheng Chen a different attack. He was able to take three pointers because there was a Sun Min Yang getting busy underneath the basket. Well, not only that, it just, you know, extends their rotation. Four solid big men right there for uh, Guangzhou. And of course, when they meet the Thunders tomorrow in the finals, you know, the Thunders will be in for a, a tougher task compared to the elimination round. That's right, you know, uh, we're going to see a rematch of the final game of the elimination when uh, the Seoul Samsung Thunders got a five-point win over the Guangzhou Long Lines. And imagine how exciting that game was for the Samsung Thunders. That five-point win was just enough for them to be propelled into the semifinals and they go all the way to the big dance. So Yao Tian Ti collects the rebound. And next, we'll be playing uh, the Etiland Elephants of Korea. That's another rematch of their group meeting, won by the Elephants. So that's the battle for third place. Just before the championship game tomorrow at 7 p.m. 5 p.m. first game. Talio. And you know what Enlex will learn in this game is that while they were impressive yesterday, getting that third quarter run in and taking the win, and then they were able to go on that third quarter run again here, they can really just not afford a flat start. They were, there will be times you'll get lucky, you'll get the win, but as much as you can, that strong start will be key. Well, they ran out of steam here, the Road Warriors, as for the Long Lions, they find their second win, they recovered their bearings in the fourth quarter. They come away with a 75 to 63 victory to punch their ticket to the championship of the Asia League Summer Super 8 tomorrow night against the Seoul Samsung Thunders. As for NLEX, they go up against the Etiland Elephants in the third place battle. For three quarters, the Road Warriors were in it. But the Long Lions eventually pulling through with that strong finish. It has finished here, 75 to 63. Guangzhou with the victory and a spot in the finals.
75-63 is our final score. The Guangzhou Long Lions advance into the finals of the Asia League Summer Super 8. The best player of the game, Shadali John McCarr, finishing with 21 points and three rebounds. Shadali John, there were times in the game where you would pull your teammates and really talk to them, give them some reminders. Tell us what, uh, could you share with us what you were saying, you were, you were telling your teammates? Uh 就是把新疆队反超了，所以我今天在场上一直呃给我队友就说要呃注意力集中，然后在场上注意力集中完了以后呃一定不能松懈，然后防守。He uh, watched the last game, uh, Roma Warriors versus the uh, Xinjiang, and they got five back uh, during the third quarter. So I told my teammates that you need to be focused, never get loose. All right, and then you're gonna be facing the Seoul Samsung Thunders in the finals, a team that beat you in the elimination round by five points. How much are you looking for a chance for revenge? Uh, 也是前面领先，然后最后输了这场比赛，可能是我们呃练的比较短的时间嘛，才两周，然后互相之间理解还是不太够，所以呃大家还是互相信任，然后更加团结，然后呃打好明天的比赛吧。We have played a group stage game with them, and we lose them. Uh, we take lead first, and then they got fight back. And uh, during the uh, for the uh, for this game in the final game. And we think we need to be more focused, and we need to. Uh, we only uh, tra training for two weeks because we need to more. We need more collaborate. All right, thank you very much. Congratulations! Tomorrow in the finals of the Asia League Summer Super Eight, the Guangzhou Law Lions go up against the Seoul Samsung Thunders.
Three straight wins. How confident are you in the finals in the you know facing these two either of these two teams, Anlex or Guangzhou? Last two minutes. 